I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Uh, the meeting is open. It is April 23rd. It is 7.04. Um, everybody please announce yourself. Mark Sotir. Sandra Simon. Rick Madden. Art Edgerton. Bob Clark. Rachel Kelly. All right. Great. Thank you. This hearing is recorded for cable broadcast. The following... Let's go from the I don't have to read that. Excuse me. Please note that the meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. All right, so uh, on the agenda, we've um, we've taken care of uh, the order of conditions for an eight-person way, the, the uh, determin determination of applicability for 17 Rebecca Road. Um, the meeting minutes for April 9th are um, going to be waived for tonight. Uh, Rachel is still finishing them up. Uh, there was, I guess there was quite a bit uh, on that, so uh, we want to make sure we get them right. So uh, we'll take that up next meeting which will bring us right to the um, a discussion for the after-the-fact request for determination of applicability for tree planting. So, um, who, Bob, are you speaking okay. on it? Yeah, because we're working in the wetland. We feel we better have paperwork to cover our tail. We don't have time to do it. Right, so um, we're asking for the board's okay to file an after-the-fact determination. In other words, what it is, we're doing the paperwork, but we're saying go ahead and do it, and mm -hmm. we'll just handle the paperwork routinely when it comes around. We haven't had a, okay. we haven't had the request yet. We got to fill. You're gonna have to come with, and get them filled out. It's yeah. it's just simple, but it's just paperwork. But it keeps before. us from saying you make us file, but here you are right. doing something, right. and, Absolutely. and you, know, you didn't file. And this is for the tree planting yeah, for Saturday. And, yes, yep. Saturday yep. and Sunday. And just for the record, um, I found that even when you use organic, like the salté and the seaweed, that if you make something tastier and more nutritious for a bowl, they eat it. <laughs> so we're going to put them in with the root. They're organically grown, so there's no chemicals that will be added, and there's no even fertilizer of any type I'm going to add this year. So, okay. You know, the darn bulls can tell what is more nutritious, and they go right for it. They put a big bucket of fertilizer away from the trees. <laughs> that would be good. Just give them the salad bar. <laughs> All right, so. Well, we're talking about that, too. Now, well, conservation, we didn't really, this is really, this is your guys' thing. Yeah. You're take, giving us some of the glory of it, because I heard that on Facebook it says it was ours. Really, we're giving you the trees. Right. And all, but you're doing it without no, not as a conservation right, issue, right. As, as your right. own, and all. I as think citizens. sometime down in, in the future that we need to do something with our open space committee because the open space committee is really the people be, that do things that would be good. like this and all. And this board is more of a uh, regulatory. Yeah, you know, regulatory. We do the business mm -hmm. part of it, but the uh, open space people do the hands-on stuff so and we need to need to look into getting our open space people more into it not just yeah, for, no, but for all great. of our that'd other projects that are that are in town i guess i misunderstood what we did last week i thought that it was going to be uh, the board that was doing it we were we were leading it but um i yeah. can change that on facebook well, if you uh, like. yeah it's, uh, well, well we, no we can take the the okay, no, but it's, okay. No, no, i mean we weren't we you, weren't I think asking, you, yeah. you want to give credit where it's due and yeah, well, yeah credit, you don't yeah, believe yeah, it the people credit are, people are doing yeah, that exactly. that work and should be getting the, the credit well, our part. names are on it too but you know it's uh, I, I mean we're we've got the we had the trees we can supply the trees yeah. and, and things like that but i mean as far as we didn't do as a board the work you people did the work it's your it's your project to to do just okay. hope it doesn't to feed the voles, yeah. like Plymouth did. Yeah. Yeah. The last 15,000 trees, the voles. 
Really? They fenced out the predators to protect them from the deer and the little wool ate them all. <laughs> Nature so, has its way. So do we need a motion on this? Yeah, I move that uh, we issue a after the fact uh, request for termination to plant the trees on the 27th? 7th and 8th. What? 7th and 8th. Friday Saturday. and Saturday? Saturday's the 28th. Okay. 28th so. and 29th. Twenty eighth and 29th. Okay, on the tw on April twenty eighth and 29th, uh, eighteen for when you're calling it when so twelve is what bog twelve or at yeah. bog twelve bog off 12. of Gorham Ave. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll second that. Isn't it? Wait a minute. Not Gorham Ave. It's um. Oh. Yeah, it's Gorham Ave. Yeah, well, yeah. it's Gorham Ave, and then it turns into uh, yeah. I, I should know what I've been saying. Yeah, I do day. too. I do too, but I mean, I can't think of it. But that's yeah, yeah it's in that. Yeah. Oh, uh, we can also Ridge Road too. It's on the side of Ridge Road yes, also. That, that works. Okay, so we have a second. Come on in. Second. So you must be Mr. Oh, DOT. So we're going to close me. discussion. <laughs> and so there's a, uh, a so a vote to uh, uh, have an after the fact uh, request uh, RDA for tree planting on the 20th and 29th for Bog 12. Yes. We'll call it. Yep. Um, yeah. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Hi. All those opposed. Right Motion passes. In okay. the future, could we refer to it as the North Atlantic Cedar, North Atlantic White Cedar Restoration Project instead of planting trees? It's a lot more ink. <laughs> it's, okay. It's if, what if, it if I could write it down at a time, it's yeah. a long one. Okay. We're at seven ten. Okay. Okay. All right. So can, can, can I ask one question? About we, we, did get a, we did get a unanimous full vote. Thank yeah, you. sorry. Can I ask you a question about that? Um, we had uh, ordered an outhouse because some of the handicapped people, especially, would need it. Um, and I'm thinking that the Conservation Commission would be paying for that. Is that still the case? Well, it, it has to be brought before the board for something like that because we don't know. I tell you what, this is part, and I shouldn't be saying it, but why we were looking for a plan earlier because with a plan we can encompass we didn't really vote on anything so you no know, can we pay for it that's up to the that is up to the board as a separate item and i don't see why we can't do it but it should be brought in you know another one before than rather than after all right well i will make a motion to uh, to pay for that for the board to pay for that outhouse uh, for the for the tree planting i'm sorry i, I don't second it. <laughs> all right okay so I'll, he seconded it. Okay, so uh, all those in favor uh, Aye. to pay for the others? Aye. 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 Okay, all those opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 710 hearing. Is that you, sir? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we have a request, request for a determination, a determination of applicability for Route 53 uh, with Mass DOT. Hi, we're good. Uh, You're back. I'm back. I was here, what, two, three, four weeks ago, whatever it was, <laughs> yeah. for the uh, uh, tree trimming. Yeah. Well, now I'm here for uh, resurfacing Route 53 um, from Hanover to um, Duxbury, the whole entire length. Okay. Um, We're going to be milling off probably two and a half inches. Let me double check that. I should know this off the top of my head, right? And putting back two and a half inches, I believe. Okay. Up two, sorry, two inches. Milling off two inches, putting two inches back back on. Um, some of the work items besides that um, includes we're going to do some reconstruction on the asphalt berm. Uh, we're going to construct and reconstruct some sidewalks. We're going to construct a and reconstruct wheelchair ramps and driveway apr aprons along the corridor as well. Um, we'll be cleaning the existing drainage structures and pipes, dusting and rebuilding the uh, structures in, in, within the roadway, um, replacing the catch basin grates and frames with a, a special hook type, hook lock type now that keeps the, keeps it down, keeps it down. Um, we're going to replace the traffic signal loop detectors in the roadway, we'll uh, be doing uh, guyway in treatments. Um, and placing either loom or milling mulch along the, the shoulders if as needed. And of course, doing traffic markings and installation of slider you know, pivot markings within the roadway as well. The majority of the work actually is within the roadway and is exempt under the Wellness Protection Act. Um, and as you know, we file, we only file under the Wellness Protect Protection Act. We don't file under any local bylaw. Um, 
some of the work by necessity or actually um, is the sidewalk work and that um, lies some of that work lies within buffer zone so that's why we're here um, is that that's buffer you, zone you you do have siltation barrier where needed yes we'll put siltation barrier where, where needed when we, when we do the work um, that will be included within the contract um, some of the work you, you, you know from the may know from the plans that were sent um, will fall under our previously a previously a permitted project, which is the intersection at Pleasant Street, I believe. Okay, that's what was my next yeah. question. What are we, we going to put it down and take it back up again? No, um, but it, it, believe it or not, we're actually trying to integrate the whole, yeah. the two projects, um, and we'll be able to, uh, you know, take care of, take care of both yeah. issues within that. Well, um, are we, and I haven't really looked at the plans that close. There's a piece of sidewalk right near the Pleasant Street that connects in front of the, goes over the river, goes okay. over the stream. Uh, they're putting brook there? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Is there a piece going in there? There's a, a, piece, of, there's a piece of sidewalk going in there. Um, okay. Let me... <gasps> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It's, it's been four years with these two projects. <laughs> Connect the sidewalks. Don't leave 200 feet or so on sidewalk. We're, we, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> Especially on that road. Yeah. It's, it's people yeah. fly. Okay. So we're... we're um, the this pleasant, okay. This pleasant, pleasant right there. Mm -hmm. Sidewalk is going on the. Uh, where's my north arrow? Sorry. Oh, on the west side. Yeah, 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 side. Okay, yep. yeah, it's going on this this side here, which is. Yeah, that's where the other. Okay. Yeah. I hope so. That's where the other side walks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. So it's going down there. And it's going all the way down to. It looks like this going from Duxbury to Hanover. Is that the scope of the work? Yeah. Hanover yes. line. Yeah. Duxbury line. We're not doing the sidewalks the entire length, but we are paving and resurfacing the entire length. The, oh. the, the majority of the sidewalk work looks, uh, speak Michael, the majority of the sidewalk work is around the Pleasant Street to... Yeah. The Pleasant uh, Street uh, going up has got some, and, yeah. and the yeah. new piece they're doing on 14 has got one that wraps to the yeah. corner. We're going to connect them. Just piece we're going to try to connect them. Okay. We're going to try to make it right. We'll be able to walk nice. all the way to Hanover. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, the skateboarders will love it. <laughs> Um, and I actually, I, All right. I can't say for sure. I don't, I don't have a. Do I don't have, have a resident engineer. Or there will be a resident engineer on the project assigned to the project. It's a you know state road, so we will have. A, when it comes to you, I think you know, we want to make sure that that at least I meet. Oh, yes. We probably will have a meeting. Of, we have a have a joint meeting before we really get too far well, into the project. Typically, what happens is this is a. Um, we have a pre-construction after the yeah. after the bid after the contract is awarded, and we'll have a pre-construction in, in our office, in our offices that where the town officials are invited right. to come, and you can come. We also will have, as you can put in your in your a determination if we if you so desire to vote yeah. that tonight, yeah. um, you can put in that you require a meeting with right you now. specifically yeah. Just before to, yeah. before the project starts, yeah. and the yeah. resident engineer and the and the contractor would yeah. be there at the letter yeah. at the meeting. And if that's so, you could have me there too. Yeah. Or, or, or just so, we, just so we know each other and know. Yes. Who's so you know who's yeah. yelling if, yeah. if something's out of, out, of, <laughs> yeah. out of line. Well, see, we don't like to yell too much. We just like to know if something's <laughs> out of line, tell us. And you take care of it, and then I'll try to make sure everybody <laughs> else doesn't can, stays off your <laughs> back. Because as long as the sidewalks are in line. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I move we uh, close. Okay. We're going to close discussion um, on this, and is there a uh, I'll second a that. Okay. Is there a motion? <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm good. Okay. Let's, we got to close first. So, right. okay. So, vote to close. Okay. Aye. Discussion. Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay. Right. I move discussion we issue closed. a negative three building accordance of plan with our normal, oh, well, our normal stuff on it. Put normal stuff in, you know, include your. your your erosion control, your yeah. your pre meeting, and whatever, whatever. We've never had we've never had any problem. We know okay. we know where we know, we know are. you are. We know where <laughs> you are. We um, have never I heard. didn't bring it. I didn't bring it into my discussion, but uh, as of right now, I looked it up before I left. The advertising date for this project is one twenty fifty, which means this is a, a fill in project. Mm -hmm. So as a, another project somewhere in the district drops right. out, this one will slip Might in. Slip in, yeah. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, it could could be now. It could be. It could be. It could be advertised before the, our 
before the end of the federal year, which is September 30th, yeah. or it could be the, before the end of next yeah. year, sub, September 30th. Year after that, um, oh. it's, like I said, it's a fill-in project. Yeah. And if you have any question about the other project, um, the, the actual intersection project, that one is actually out, was out to bid, yeah. went out to bid um, March 17th. Are they open? So, so I imagine they probably opened April 17th. I was on vacation last week, so yeah. I... Yeah, I, knew, <laughs> I haven't... I, uh, you know, I often don't... I really don't hear. That's the Pleasant Street one? That's the Pleasant Street intersection yeah. project, okay. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I mean, that work... Yeah. I would probably be starting towards the end of summer or beginning of fall, yeah. I would think. Yeah, that's what we kind of figure. Okay. Late summer, early fall is the best The best we can do. Yeah. Well, okay. Which that's is what, probably good because by then most of this other end up people, the, the people will at least be happy here. Is, is that yes. Teamwork is done, okay. Yeah, the shocks will get a break. Yeah. All right, no, because so they're starting 36 right now. Just uh, one, one more time with the motion, Bob. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, negative three. Issue a negative three. Build according to plans with our normal boilerplate things. It says we have to be notified and all that. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so there's a motion for uh, negative three, uh, build according to plan for the uh, the RDA for Route 53 from Mass DOT. Um, I'll second that. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion Good. passes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I have, I have to ask a question now, another question. Okay. But this letter is. My cover letter was addressed to Sharon McNamara. Is she still the chairman? Is she, is yeah, she's just, just not yet. She's out. Okay. 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 Uh, she wasn't here yeah, last time. You know, and you, the time you that's, forgot. That's Rachel. She does all of our office. Rachel runs, runs the table. She runs, runs the office? Yeah. Okay. She runs everything. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. We're pleased. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes before our 720. Any, so anybody? Well, by the time he gets over here and sits down. That's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Where do you Thanks. want him at? Oh, yeah, more of it. That's fine. No, for. Oh, I might have the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's just do one too. Yeah, the only manic is as automatic as that one. This is all This is all I can get all different close ups. Yeah, that was on the table. This is what's 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 on the 720. So notice of intent for Libby's Lane at 45 Taylor Street, KG Development Corporation DEP file number SE056-101. Hello. Uh, thank you, Rick Grady from Grady Consulting. Is there anyone in the hall that was somebody who said they were coming? Just want to make sure. Yep. It's always good. Quite a project. Yeah, I, I know the Collins. I used to take care of the Collins property before it was subdivided at all. Oh, okay. Massive. Mm -hmm. you know, beautiful property. Great people. <coughs> it looks like it's a bit of a mirror image on what had happened uh, next door. Exactly. Yeah. Was that your project too? No. no. Uh, I think Merrill Associates did the Libby design Lane, on that one. Lane, 45 Taylor? Yeah. Okay. That's and we got some, we do have, have guests. Okay, they have to sign in at the sheet on the okay. calendar. How can we make it look so nice? We uh, hired a landscape architect about two years ago, mm -hmm. and he has been an awesome addition. He does a really nice job with this sort of thing. Does really nice three D models, three D renderings. Mm -hmm. It links to his uh, landscaping program, so that actually brings in 3D images. We're yes. not using them in this, but it brings in the 3D images of the is, particular species. Is he working right for you? Oh yeah, oh. yeah, full-time employee right in the office. In other words, if we had a landscaping project, we might want to come to you? He's, he's been great with that stuff. We've actually been doing a lot of work for other engineers, which is not a bad thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> off the top of the hat, um, are they using North Atlantic cedar trees in that area at all? Since that was a great stumpy reservoir over I, before? I don't cedars. know. But that's something we can certainly uh, look into. Okay. They're, they're really good. Okay. All right. So um, thank yeah. you, Rick Grady from Grady Consulting, uh, the engineers. Can you, can you wait for him? Oh, sure. 
I can I can hear you. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a property located at 45 Taylor Street. Uh, the existing dwelling and existing barn, existing workshop are towards the front of the property along Taylor Street in yellow in this area here. Um, Put your arms. We are proposing the construction of a roadway for a residential subdivision. Uh, the roadway is depicted in this way here, uh, currently called Libby's Lane, if accepted by the uh, planning board. Oh, okay. oh, you're sitting out so you can hear. I know what's going on. The uh, <laughs> subdivision roadway will service five residential lots, um, as shown in these light yellow areas here. We've got a few different wetland resource areas around the property. We have the Pudding Brook to the uh, rear of the property here. Um, so we have the riverfront area associated with that, and we've also got a bordering vegetated wetland uh, shown in this dotted line uh, in this area here. And then we've got an intermittent stream and the associated bank and a very narrow strip of wetland resource area here. Uh, the way the subdivision lays out, none of the roadway is within any of the resource areas or any of the buffer zones, so the roadway is entirely outside uh, of the jurisdiction of the Conservation Commission. However, our drainage system is partially within uh, the buffer zone to the wetland. What is a resource area? A uh, resource area is anything that's identified in the Wetlands Protection, wetlands protection Act. Um, okay. can be land under water, it can be land subject to flooding, bordering vegetated wetlands, uh, inland bank, coastal bank. There's a whole menu of various okay. resource areas that we kind of lump into the wetland category. Um, so this yellow highlighted line depicts the limit of the 200 foot riverfront or 200 foot buffer zone here or 100 foot wetland buffer, whichever is more conservative uh, throughout the project. So right in this area here, the 200 foot riverfront area would be more restrictive. Um, and then they kind of on top of each other, 200 foot riverfront area here is about 20 to 30 feet further out than the 100 foot wetland buffer zone. And then from here on, it's entirely a uh, 100-foot wetland uh, buffer zone. So what's before the commission tonight is a portion of this drainage uh, infiltration retention basin here and the outlet structure in this area here. We do anticipate that we'll be coming back for individual lots um, one at a time once we get to the uh, lot developments. Uh, the planning board does require us to at least put the houses on here schematically. Um, so not that the houses will be exactly like this, but this at least demonstrates that the lots should be buildable. We're still able to keep everything well away from the resource areas. We may have a very minor encroachment to the riverfront area. It will be much less than the 10% that's allowable. Um, we do have erosion control uh, proposed wherever we're working uh, within close proximity to the wetland buffers. Um, Calculations were submitted for the 2, the 10, the 25, and the 100 year design storms uh, to demonstrate that we're not increasing runoff towards the wetland or off site uh, for any of those design storms for the post development condition. Um, and we also, actually, that includes the intermittent stream. We're not increasing runoff to that for the post development uh, condition either. Um, so at this time, what we're proposing within the wetlands is really relatively simple again, just two portions of the drainage basin. And I'd be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Okay. I want to throw in a theoretical here. Mm -hmm. Normally on all these subdivisions, one of the first things we do is hire a consultant to check the wetland lines. Mm -hmm. But there's almost nothing on the roadway that needs to be checked. In other words, we only have a few flags here that we could easily do. Mm -hmm. Now, when the lots come in, we're going to want to check the wetlands line. Do you, you and your customer want us to tell you to just check them all now, and or would you prefer that we go ahead and work it as each lot comes in? I'd rather see you do them now. Do yeah. them now. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Rather do what? Do it now? Yeah. Do what, it now. Yeah. yeah. What, it, what it is is the law allows the Conservation Commission to hire an independent person to go out and check their work. Okay. And they have to pay for it. Okay. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, so, but I mean, in this case, it's one of the things. I just wanted to know which way he wanted to do it, whether he wanted to do it each lot or the whole project. It's so we'll do the whole safer project. To do it now, obviously. Yeah, it's yeah. safer, yeah. it's easier. Yeah, yeah. It makes more sense than trying yeah. to break it up by lot basis yeah. later. It's more time, it's less time right. restricted. And in, that, and in that case, one of the things would be that we will have to ask a independent mm -hmm. and we'll work with you, your, your developer. Mm -hmm. and all and 
we'll come up with someone to get some pricing, and then you're going to have, to, or they're going to have to put some money in the in the bank here for us to go ahead with it. Mm -hmm. so who's the developer on this? Uh, Bob Goslin. Okay. So Bob had done the Calio Path subdivision a few years ago uh, with the commission off of uh, Monroe Street. So can I ask some questions about this? Uh, everything goes through these guys. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you st state your name, sir? I'm um, 31 Taylor Street. I uh, butt right here. Okay. And your name? Mike Tyler. Okay. What are your questions, Mike? So a question I have is when I look at this, this is a an elevated hill here. Um, and around it is a sloping area. It's pretty level over here, but my concern is the runoff down here. Um, I have a lowlands right here. There were two drains over here that get plugged up and the town's having problems. And initially when I moved in, there was a, a gully or a, uh, a trench developed here for water runoff that's coming off this, I don't know if you've been in there, but water pours out of this hillside across the street. As it is. And it comes down. And at one point it was a big problem here and they had a trench here. So my question is, what are we doing to control the runoff on this side of the, the property? So the, these, um, the contours are depicted with these uh, dashed lines here. We have an elevation 50 in here, elevation 52. So we can see we have a bit of a high spot here. And it's kind of a ridge that travels off in here. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, it does drop off from that elevation 50, which is kind of the top of the hill here. Um, everything in this direction is going this way here. The road, I'm um, sorry. The house lots themselves, this house here is pretty much set on the top of the hill. Nothing will be directed uphill towards this 52 contour. This will all slope back towards the roadway. Um, the roadway itself will not be draining towards your property. Uh, got a proposed 46 contour here. Uh, catch basins right at this little low area that you were pointing to here previously. Uh, those will collect runoff at the roadway in those points at this low point. It'll pipe it down through a series of manholes and drainage pipes uh, down here to the basin. Infiltrate here, uh, and any overflow from that would be directed off in this direction here. So nothing's going to be pointing up towards uh, your property. And we did take this low end area into account when we were setting this low point for the roadway, too, to make sure that we're not creating a dam, per se, um, in that area there. So we'll still continue to collect runoff flowing down here in that catch basin. Can you tell me what this elevation would be in this corner? Sure, yep, it's about 46. 46? Yeah. Real so good. I guess my only concern is that the hill starts here, correct? Comes down that way. Yeah, 52 contour right here is kind of mm -hmm. the ridge, and then that ridge kind of continues along here. So our, our ridge kind of does something roughly like that right behind mm -hmm. 281. So you're saying it's got to get over the <clears throat> ridge before it comes to me? Correct, yeah. So this will be sloping back towards the roadway, not your direction. And what happens is with the drainage calculations that we submit to these guys, we had to provide tributary area plans too. So that all show, demonstrates how the runoff in the various areas is gonna work and how that meshes in with the calculations. But basically everything's flowing away from you. Is the, how do you determine? How does he determine the size of the retention pond, <laughs> and is it uh, sufficient size? But he can yeah. uh, answer that question. So the way we do that is we go through and look at ground coverages. Uh, impervious areas such as roadways and roofs generate the most runoff mm -hmm. uh, naturally. Uh, grass generates a little bit more runoff than woods, and woods is probably our most porous or pervious coverage. So we look at a number of different design storms. A two-year storm is about three and a half inches of rain in 24 hours. Ten-year storm is about five and a half inches of rain in 24 hours. 25-year storms, I think about six inches of rain in 24 hours. And a hundred-year storm is about seven and a half to eight inches of rain in 24 hours. <coughs> so we look at these tributary areas and what's falling for those storm events for both pre-development and post-development. Mm -hmm. And what we see when we run those numbers is we see an increase in the runoff because we're changing ground coverages from woods and grass to pavement. So we're generating more runoff. And we're actually able to calculate what that additional volume of runoff is. Um, at that point there, it's basically a sizing the bathtub and seeing if your bathtub is big enough. And I apologize for the simple analogy, but mm -hmm. that's, <laughs> well, simple. that's about all it really is, is how much extra runoff is coming off of those impervious surfaces versus the pervious surfaces. 
What's that volume? Compare that to our volume of our bathtub here. Now when the water is flowing into there, we do have good soils here, so we're getting some infiltration into the ground. So we do run some calculations to say, okay, it's, that incrementally makes it into this basin, and we're incrementally recharging some into the ground. We're able to actually calculate the water surfaces for each of those four storms, and we see how high that water level gets. And then the next step is we actually look at what we're discharging here and make sure we're not discharging more than we were prior to the development. Why wouldn't you, instead of encroaching on the wetland, why don't you move it over here? We really need to work with the grades that we're given. And the lowest point of our property that we're working with is about this 40 contour here. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have some runoff from, say, like this house here down at the end of the street that's naturally in an area that's currently 46. And we can't just let that go to the wetland in the back here. We need to find a way to collect that. So we need to look at everything as a whole. Where is everything naturally flowing? And it's really kind of naturally flowing this direction in this direction here. And this is our spot that we're actually able to have the most efficient, efficient collection of that runoff. Is the plan to take all the trees down? It's a, it's a big pine forest here. Yep. What we typically like to do, and I, we work with this developer on a number of subdivisions, is we'll only cut the trees necessary for the roadway and the drainage initially. And then he'll go in and look at each lot individually and only cut what he needs so he will not be clear cutting the site. We do on this schematic plan give what we anticipate as a proposed tree line on the plan, but it is a rough overview. It doesn't get very, doesn't get down to the individual tree. Uh, so the, the plan is to leave these trees or whatever standing there. Correct. Closest to you up by the street here, there's a solid probably 40 feet or so there. 40 feet? Okay. Yep. The corral kind of dictates there, mm -hmm. uh, but the corral's coming out, so if anything, this will get replanted. Sure. Um, so we'll be increasing at that area just a touch. Um, we need to be about 10 feet off the roadway here to accomplish the grading. Um, it's about we're probably 60 feet there at this point. So pretty good buffer there. Are you going to bring? Can you uh, state your name? Scott Radwin, 279, 281. He lives, he lives here. Okay. Can I ask a quick question? Just by the front of the roadway, are you saying you're going to? bring a lot of fill in and raise it way up from where it is right now because it's no. very low. Nope. Um, it's relatively flat at the roadway entrance here. We got a 46 contour just slightly in here. Um, we, we're really maybe filling six inches there, maybe a foot in a couple of isolated areas, but very little fill coming in at the roadway entrance there. Do we have a catch basin up in this area for trees? We have negative grade coming off the street okay. too here. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, we are going to be able to take care of that water that comes from across the street. Yes. Also, it's going to go that way. Correct. Nice. Yep. And go into your catch basin. Yep. yep. We're not hmm. allowed to push any out onto the street, which I see. Is a good thing. Yeah. Well, there's a. It's like a river coming down here. Sorry. Yeah. Yesterday. So what? Um, so here's. So I guess we don't care about, and I guess it doesn't matter the capacity of the stream. I actually, we do care about that, and that's something that I actually took a very close look at. I was concerned that we have to match the pre and the post on this for the entire site. However, on this particular site, I wanted to look at it incrementally. I wanted to make sure that we were not increasing flow to this okay. because this has limited capacity. So we are, and the calculations demonstrate that we are not increasing flow for the overall and in particular not to this area here. And we actually, we're not necessarily required to, but we took this new house into account in that as well. Okay. Is there any provisions uh, going to be put on this, these three lots that allow the cleaning of this trench when it becomes, you know, a subdivision? Other, you know, I mean, I know as if other than that, the, nobody would have the right to go on the property just to paint it if there isn't something written in somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah, that's something that hasn't come up in any of our discussions so yeah. far, but would be open to putting an easement on it or yeah. something to that effect yeah. so that I mean, that could be maintained. I'm just looking at the future some mm -hmm. five, ten years down the road. It might get to be a problem. Sure. Yeah, I would be glad to put an easement on that to yeah. provide for access. Good thinking. Mm -hmm. 
Do you read that? So this this is the encroachment in here. So anything between the wetland dotted line and the 100 foot buffer. Uh -huh. Oh, so, I see. So I'm going to avoid bit, calling yeah. it. A, I'm going to avoid calling it an encroachment because it's something that's permittable, and but we do have to file and get permission to do it. It's a big, uh, big piece. I mean, it's, this is really. I was there today. It's really wet. All wet right along. So this is a stream all the way out here. Sure, so right. yeah. Plants. Very it's narrow. Very se it's seasonally running now, or right. it's intermittent. Yes. Yeah. Intermittent. It, it should be wet this time of year. I mean, that's how it should be. And now you got the developing over here. I don't know how that's going to dump water on this end or not. They've pretty much raised all the trees. There's nothing there, and. Right, they cl they pretty much clear cut that. Yeah, they area. clear cut all yeah. the old ten acre lot here. Right right talking about. Yeah. Well, now you got all of this convergence of this development. Who knows what's going to happen? The engineers. <laughs> I'm sorry. The engineers. <laughs> <laughs> One of the planning board members. They're gone in ten years. I don't know. It was here ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe longer, I hate to say. I think <laughs> since the mid 80s, roughly. Yeah. <laughs> um, very, one of the planning board members suggested, similar to the property next door, we cut a separate parcel. That this parcel here, he asked if we'd consider conveying it to the town or the water department or one of those entities like they did next door. Um, so we did do a separate parcel for that wetland portion so that, that could be conveyed to the town, similar to what they had done next door. And that will roughly follow the wetland line. This is somewhere else's property in there? Yes, correct. Yeah. Why would the town want that? Yeah. Uh, I think just part of um, what's back there, the reservoir, uh, perhaps some drinking water supply or something along that line. Yeah, There's no reservoir there. Yeah. They used to be. They used to be. Yeah, yeah. 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 a little crooked, a little yeah. creek. So why would we, yeah. I'd rather tax that area. We'll yeah. build houses there. It ends up being a landlocked. Yeah. I think they have to develop the whole parcel. So they oh, have to they get rid of anything they're not using to the town, right? right? I think it's always good to have buffer zones so the town controls. Um, as a you know, conservationist and a woodland guy, I, yeah, right. it's always good to have that and uh, keep it safe, not disturb. Um, for a lot of habitat reasons, loss of habitat, that's a habitat now that's very critical. And, I think it's good to have it, mm -hmm. personally. And it is adjacent to other town land in that same area as well. Yep. It actually does serve a purpose. I what would it take for... So the board has a an obligation to pass that? An the commission, I guess it is? Okay. We have an obligation to discuss it. Okay. Right? And, <coughs> and consider it. And what would push you over the edge to not allow it? <laughs> that is a good question, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, I but we say that is if we didn't allow it, he has the right to go to DEP and request for a, a, a change. Superseding order. Superseding. Appeal and as soon as he does it. that, we it takes control. it away from us. Right. So I now see. we have nothing to say on this right. thing. It's DEP only. So right. we usually like to work out all of our things so that we can, can keep local control rather than letting it go out to DEP. As an abutter, do I have any appeal? You can appeal it, yeah. And who would I be appealing? The commission? DEP, and you'd be the same thing. You'll go right to DEP. Oh, I see. I can but appeal you the have to have, you For DEP to accept it, and correct me if you think I'm I'm wrong. DEP, you have to have grounds that okay. DEP would would say that you know we've somebody here is in this board has made an error. We've written something wrong, or that they didn't present something correctly. I you see. Know, all those things. You've got to have reason. You can't just do it because I don't like it. Okay. Uh, many times we've had to accept a lot of things that we didn't like, but if it meets the regulations, we don't have a choice. Yep. Do you have any alternatives for this, so that it's not so close to the river? 
Uh, well, it's extreme. Well, that's an but right. It's probably 350 feet from the riverfront area. So this is 350 feet here. No, that's oh, from the intermittent stream. That's the intermittent stream. Oh, okay. yeah. stream. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, so. the perennial stream's yeah. over in here. Uh, we've got about 50 feet here, roughly undisturbed of uh, natural vegetation. Uh, is there any way to bring it further back? You'd have to eliminate that house lot to do that, right? Well, so, or is or is the elevations uh, impacting that as well? So if we ended up looking, we could perhaps force something further down this he area here to get it further away from there. Uh, but at that point there, we're getting closer to this wetland resource area. Uh, we've also got some steeper grades in there that we'd be working with, so it's probably more likelihood of erosion issues uh, with the wetland area in that vicinity. Um, with this location here, we're able to take advantage of the grades a little bit better. It's a better grading scenario. The basin is more regularly shaped and easily accessible for maintenance. So why is this little creek stop? <laughs> it's off the property. It's, it, it goes on. It turns into a big wet delta. there. And what, what happens? Where is this discharge from this pond going, if at all? The, it, infiltrates the up to the 10 year storm and then we let a little bit of water go in this direction here uh -huh. so these are just here for uh, illustration this leaching field right here correct yep just to show them schematically that it fits on the property so they'll come in they'll come back in you said individually and then they'll be like that's a little close to that well that's that's a board of health um, situation where they there's yeah. setbacks that have to be maintained with right. leaching fields the property lines and so forth so that's nothing that we you know yeah, monitor. I it's a board of health so issue. you're just talking about the basin tonight correct, correct. yeah i got you when were these um Done, Rick. Are these old, or are you did you you guys do these these these, uh, these wet these flags? These were done by Brad Holmes last spring, I believe. Okay, yeah. so I can double you, check. So those flags were put in during the, the last we broke two years ago. Huh? They were not. Very good. Um, I think it was August 31st, but right it. it's not my place to say. It was in August. It's like it's in the it I don't see anything, so. See Grady. Grady. Is it buried in uh, some of the Grady documentation, or is it? it might yeah, you want to look at it? I thought I was only going to look at this one for home. Okay, maybe it's more than two pages. I can double check the date. I, I don't know what the date is off the top of my head here. Usually, yeah, I know, I'm not picking it up. Um, no, it wasn't, because that's why, we, and that's why we looked for the report. In the, okay. It's in the we report. will add that to the plan. Is this what you're looking for? Yes, it was. August 7th, 2017. Thank you. Nice work. So what is the next step after this is approved? Put the road in? So we're just beginning the permitting process, so we do have to meet with the uh, planning board as well as the commission, and the commission's informed us this evening that they're going to have a consultant review the wetland line. Um, so we'll be continuing this hearing. We'll come back after the review of the wetland line has been completed, um, and at that point, 
assuming that their consultant agrees with our consultant, then we'll be asking them to close the hearing and issue uh, order of conditions approving the project. So at this point in time, we would be tabling this discussion until okay. those lines are verified. How long does that take, do you think? Well, they, we have to get some, you know, somebody this has to be... This time of year could be as Yeah, it's a busy, weeks, busy time, right? Or all longer, depending on, yeah. on how busy the people are that we're trying to hire to do this. Are they just looking at calculations, or are they going to do a site visit? They actually go out on the site, and they check out the species and uh, all, all kinds of stuff. So you have a, a botanist, I believe, is a, yeah. you know somebody that goes out there and is you know trained to, to wetland notice. Wetland science, botanist or a wetland scientist. Yeah, they, they're trained to notice the species and uh, other other things that uh, there uh, any, contribute is, to the being there a There are a couple of, uh, I mean, when you say species, animals? Nope, uh, plant species. Okay. So they look at flora. Uh, What's yeah. up? Floor. Yeah, they do, uh, floor. you know, hydric uh, samples of soils. They do all kinds of different things. They don't so. look at the animals out there to find out what's there? Um, Isn't there some kind I, of a... I, I don't know. I've, so we're not... We're not, not I've, I've never... Found what animals I've got are out there. starfish well, moles yeah, yeah, over uh, here. Heritage right. people already right. you know, have maps of it, and this okay. does not fall under one of their, Correct. their heritage mean, areas. So, so that means but, that nobody is taking account of what animals are there? Well, yes, the, you know, the heritage people supposedly have taken care of the whole town, and said, here is where you look for the uh, box turtle, and here is where you look for this and that. And then if we, they say we, there's nothing here, then that's what we go by, because they are the ones who have done this in, well, in general. But it's not part of what the botanist or yeah. uh, scientist right. does. But what if, there, what if there is, we have uh, starfish shrews here. Mm -hmm. Now, does that become an issue for heritage? I've Depends whether they're on the on the list. Yeah, mm -hmm. on, on the in other words, the heritage people have lists of what is, is threatened endangered, endangered, and there's two or three categories right. that they Different place levels. any of these things on. And who who decides that yeah. that's an issue? Is it this commission or no, it's the heritage the heritage people? Oh, okay. That, that's governed by laws regulated. So mm -hmm. it really, the decision is made by the laws regulating, and then what applies, what's applicable for what species. Oh. So who would have to notify the Heritage Commission if How do we, we wanted that? to make sure that there wasn't an endangered species, for example, on that property? That's why they published the maps, and the way the regulatory review goes is we're required to look at the maps and say this property is or is not within it, and that's one of the items on the Notice of Intent application. Right. Um, this property has not been identified by Natural Heritage as having any estimated habitats of rare or endangered species. So as a result, we do not need to file anything with them. There's no estimated habitats on the property. There's Over no vernal pools. pools. Okay. If, you that, wanted, that that that. if you wanted to do some additional research, sir, you certainly could, could do that. You know, okay, uh, so I have to go to the Heritage? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be under our uh, you know, domain at this point. Oh, time. So uh, we've spent some considerable time on this, and it was okay. a, good, a good discussion. So at this point, um, I want to move, uh, we, I wanna move uh, that we uh, table continue. discussion. Yeah. And move we continue till. Do you no, have a date, two weeks, or you want more? I think we need more, actually. I don't think two okay. is enough to get the consultant yeah. on board. Yeah, three or one, four. We'll give you whatever you want. I think four is probably yeah. what makes the most sense. How about four? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I suspect it'll take a week to get somebody on board, and that'll turn into two, so... Busy time of year, right? Yep. Somebody takes a vacation. Yeah. The school vacation's over, so I think most people are. <laughs> That's true. Well, I'm going to look up a starfish shrew. <laughs> I've never heard of that one before. I had not either. I had it's the ugliest thing you've ever seen. I was going to say, you might want to come up here probably. Little furry under the tail. The day June 4th, it's got okay. tentacles around its nose. Um, yes. And a little furry under the tail. Yeah, and I find them in my swimming pool. <laughs> so they might be your friends here. <laughs> <coughs> and I guess they tunnel in the mud. Okay, yep. In the yeah. wetlands. I'll make a motion to continue 45 Taylor Street to June 4th. At 710. At 710. Second. 
Okay, motion has been made and seconded to continue uh, 45 Taylor Street till uh, June 4th at 710. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Oh, no, I was yeah. going to say aye. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, do seem comfortable at the table. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Motion carries. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll we'll see you back. So, again, you if you want to do any other research, sir, you're, uh, you're welcome sure. to do one. Come back to the next Thank week. you for your uh, volunteer time. You do a good job. Thank you. June 4th at 710. Okay, see you then. See you then. All right. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I knew Ben Cohen. Yeah, we are way behind. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. He's up in Maine, isn't he? Our uh, next uh, hearing is a request for determination of applicability at 35 Gardner Lane, McMillan. Yeah. Really nice people. McMillan. They make great use of old barns. What's up? They make great use of old barns. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's okay. Thanks. 35 Gardner Lane? Yes. Yep. Okay, yes. great. Should we just... Right here. Okay. <laughs> make yourself comfortable. Okay, good. Tell us what you want to do. All right. So I'm Maria McMillan. This is O'Neill Pemberton. Hi. And um, we are getting married, and we would like to put um, a second bathroom in the house. That's how it started, and then like a, a bedroom. <laughs> to on, yeah. We have a 15-year-old at home. <laughs> yeah. okay. So um, we want to enclose the deck that we previously had permitted, and basically make that you know the, the bedroom and um, the bathroom area. So on the first floor. And then um, also take down four trees. So I brought pictures of those because I don't think I included those in my um, original packet. Thank you. It's kind of hard Thank to see, you. but. Yep. So you can see how close they are to the deck. And if the, the roots addition and comes out there, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, and the couple are leaning right towards you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> With the last storm, the storm, yeah, we've been okay. a little afraid. Yeah. Yeah. What body of water is that? That's um, Indian Head Pond. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know where you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 down behind the baseball. So yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. Yeah. Do you have plans to replace any of these with other other trees? Um, we would like I would like to plant like Further Japanese down, maple yeah. or dogwood or something something a little smaller because those trees are so big, yeah. you know, tall wise. But definitely something around are there. North Atlantic white cedars. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah. I don't know if it's it looks mossy and ashy. It's yeah, very it mossy. Yeah. 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 Right? No, no, exactly. So I don't know if that'll help. I hope so. Yeah. Um, because well, basically, yeah. from that tree line to the water, it is really very moist. Very yeah. 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 Okay. So we're looking at the deck. Mm -hmm. We want to enclose the deck. Enclose the deck, yes, and make that you know like a, a bedroom. Bedroom and a bathroom. So, fully so you're not tearing down the deck and pouring a foundation. We're no, we already got the uh, the foot ends there yeah, ready. Yeah. So we're just going to build on top build of that. On top of it. Yeah. 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 And then right. um, the only really new construction would be um, to put out. Um, the extra weight, have you asked somebody who is knowledgeable about the there's like uh, compression strength of the footings in the soil so you can we have well, a, need more footings? Or? Yeah, we have an architect, so she's still working on the drawings mm -hmm. and everything, so we're definitely, and we haven't started with building yet, so I figured we'd right. talk mm -hmm. to you guys Sometimes first. Sometimes you have to footings for Yeah, I probably might, and I'm adding some footings. more. Okay, yeah. For yeah. Yeah. Like that, so. yep. We would do whatever Because, like I said, it's yeah. very wet behind But we do there. have those six-foot fittings. Are you use that? Well, we don't use it, but we plan on actually just, you know, cover it around and maybe some kind of decorative thing. Excellent. There's water in there and everything. I'd use it. Put a pump on there and, you know. I would use it. Yeah, it's a water your garden. Yeah. yeah. That's what he wants yeah. to do. <laughs> Dewater your garden. Well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it looks like you want to remove trees and then the footprint of the home is not changing. The only thing that's changing, I should say, is the there's one eight foot, it's uh, like, section that we're bumping out a little bit. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Just, yeah. Yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. Yes. So that would come out so that we can have enough room for the, like, a hallway and a room and... You know, to get in right, there. So it's like foundation work and yeah. a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we ha like I said, we haven't started getting bids or anything like that. We're mm -hmm. still working mm -hmm. on finalizing the design. Um, wanted to come through you first because we don't want to go any bigger than that. Right. We still want to keep the integrity of the size of the home mm -hmm. and everything. We don't really have a site plan. Right. right. You, I didn't see one. I didn't want to watch the folder. Mm -hmm. I had this. Okay. 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 
and then right here. Yes. This the yeah. That, this is uh, and the, and the trees. Yeah. yeah. So the four trees. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Uh, woods in the back there. Yeah. 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 So we, we actually yeah, run the border between Hanson and you know, yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you go right in the water, you probably in Hanson. This is the <laughs> front of the house. Yeah. Got two, exactly. Two yeah. tax bills. Oh, jeez. You can do that. Yeah. That was mine. Yeah. Wow. It's fairly. Level wow. and flat. And the towns make up. Down here. Oh, yeah. You're still going to yeah, need definitely. a facilitation barrier on this side. If you're taking your trees down, you're going to do something with the stumps. Uh, Are you removing the stumps? Uh, you we're we're probably going to end up you, grinding them down, yes. You're going yeah. to grind them. I, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not the best country to try to pull the stumps. Nope. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, we really definitely No, we're just going to grind them. We're going to grind it down. All right. Uh, we're going to need a siltation barrier behind on the pond side okay. of this far enough back so you can do what you want to do okay. on it without having to move it. Okay. And it needs to wrap up the sideline here, okay. probably up in, where's the 100 foot? This, this is, must be the 100 foot right here. Huh? This is the 100 foot of the frontage yeah, yeah. and then there's the um, neighbor. Yeah. All right, up, okay. up on the side, it needs to be wrapped the side. You've got wetland across the street, I think, too, but because you've got the road there, unless you really get sloppy. Yeah. We shouldn't have to worry about across the road okay. right. with any siltation. Okay. But we definitely need us, and probably a silt sock we're using now more than anything. We don't allow silt fence. Okay. okay. No, it's so sock. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so it's, sock it's easier for you too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, I, I've it's seen that. Bit. Roll them out. Yeah. And it's, okay. Yeah, you, okay. You, you, you can blame the big rolls. Yep. And yep. Okay. Okay. No problem. Yeah. You don't want to try to move hay bales. No. Okay. Especially if you wet behind it, you know, they'll be in the ground in no time. You are, are, you, are you doing anything with the storage system? Not now. Not we now. we okay. do want to eventually, but yeah. yeah. Okay. We haven't had a chance to talk about that. This ground is so flat, Sandy. It's like for okay. the floor, yeah. If they've got something there, I mean, it, it, they're not going to be digging very much. Uh, so you stock, mm -hmm. you're not going to have a stockpile that can move very far on it. Right. I, don't, I don't see a real problem at that part of it. The biggest problem is the water level. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a, yeah. lots of water get, behind yeah, it. Yeah, it can get the high water sometimes. level isn't too far down. Right? Yeah. 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 Any more discussion? I move it close. Okay. Second. Okay. All right. So well, we have a motion uh, to close discussion, and it's been Second. seconded. To all those in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, we are closing discussion. Thank you. So nice. The move we issue. You aren't done yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You have to make a motion. Okay. Now, the move we issue a negative three. Uh, with our normal boil plate and silt sock uh, on the pond side of the trees that are going to be taken down. So you said you wanted to wrap it up some bit? Well, uh, wrap it a little bit to in so I, yeah. well, The ground is so flat that yeah. again, I'm going to have to look at it. Yeah. The lot is going to say that I have to look at it. Anyway, right, so right. If it isn't what I would so think is right, I'll let you know. Just yeah. Let us know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that really piece is sure right. right. Absolutely. Okay. It might have been sinking. Okay. Yeah, because the type of soil they're sitting on might right. be adequate motion. to support your house. Yeah, okay. we might add, even add more since we're going to be adding more yeah. weight on there. So, yeah. you know, maybe. We have a second. Okay. We have a motion to for our normal boilerplate with the silk sock, and I seconded it. All right, so we're going to vote. Um, we, there's a motion on the floor, and it's been seconded to approve this um, pending a, uh, this, the silk sock going on the back side of the tree line, wrapping around to where Bob had yeah. stated. And uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. So you are good with us. Great. Excellent. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I've tried my luck is always well, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is a, always. They always started already. Thank you so much. Sure. Oh, for your season. next board. Oh, thank you. <laughs> is this? Sign, copy of the That's the kid left. Okay, okay. Of the gun. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you'll see it. You'll see all the information I need. Okay. And then I can go to building. Right. Perfect. Great. Okay. Thank okay. you all so Thank much. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. All right. Yeah. Want me to see? We, I mean, okay. Yeah, please. We are uh, up for our next hearing, which was scheduled for 740 for an RDA for 105 Furnace Lane, Smith. He's right outside. Greetings.
Sorry to sorry to keep oh, you waiting. We're running a little behind today. Oh, that's okay. To be expected. Have a seat. Tell us what you're up to. Thank you. Um, I'm Warren Smith, uh, one of the uh, residents of 105 Furnace. Uh, we built a house there last year on a lot that's been vacant for quite a while, and now uh, we. I'm going to interrupt. I also live on Furnace Lane. Okay. I'm at number number 73 Furnace Lane, which I believe is further enough away, yeah. so that I can um, I can listen and vote. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. What we'd like to do is finish and put a garage in, to protect the vehicles, and frankly, stop having to clear snow off them. Mm -hmm. um, Better than trees. That's, that's the basis of what we've got. The house is done. Uh, we've been in for almost a year now, and. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if that's the one that I did the, uh, the plot on yeah. or not. Yep, yes, that's it. Uh, I brought one along as well. Right. Um, yeah. Building had given me the setbacks, so I'm, we're putting it well within the, uh, the setbacks for the road, the house, the lot next door, and outside of the 50-foot barrier as well as, okay. but it'll be within the 100 of course. That's it. Okay. Yeah, your 50 runs right down across here. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, the neighbors on that side, and 40 from the road is that first line. Yeah. You're not doing this. So what basement is so doing a slab? I can't slab. read it upside down. Yep, none okay. unheated. Okay. No yeah. second floor. Yeah. Uh, the existing barn is plenty of storage. What's the footprint of the garage? Uh, 25 by 33. Okay. About that size. I used to do plan review for a fire department, and I got an architect scale and mm -hmm. <laughs> did my thing. But it's, it's not they, exact. They built but this house. They've done a great job. They work very well with us. Have no, had no problems. I don't. I don't anticipate any problems. He's got the hay bale line or silt sock a lot of times, and how they use it, yeah. silt sock rather than hay bale, which is. You stuff tell. comes around, it's all around, and yep. everything, you just lay it out. Yep. But either hay bales or silk sock. Yep. Or We're planning on the hail bale yeah. and uh, using the same vendor that we did yeah. the last time. Uh, just, same contractor, yeah. happens to be my wife's uh, brother, yeah. so I kind of have to use him. Yeah. <laughs> you know how that works. Other than that, it's, it's very cut and dry. Is this, uh, is this structure still there? Yes. So that's another uh, garage, or is it a, like it's, a barn? Or a it's shed? a barn, and there was a workshop on the first floor, which I've kept and actually added my tools and stuff to it. There's a little a outhouse old, in the old, back is gone. There's an old date in this. <laughs> yeah, house, yeah. What's that old, there's an old date upstairs. 1898. Some, a painter put it in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah right up on this, there's a second floor, which eventually when I clean the junk out of it, I'll make my office up there. <laughs> All right, so says thing. my wife. <laughs> <laughs> So you, that's you've my plan. On, you've been on site. Yeah. No issues. Okay. I move to close. Okay. Sure. All right. So a motion has been moved to close. Discussion has been seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Will we issue negative three when we vote? I'll second that. Okay, motion has been made and seconded to issue the negative three in the typical boilerplate for approval of this. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? You are all okay. set, sir. Motion passes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Well, what's the difference between a negative three and a negative four? You, said you, were, you put a negative four in one of them tonight? What does negative four say? I don't know. That's what I'm asking oh. you. I didn't hear a negative four. Did you? I, didn't either. I, I thought you said negative four in the first one. No. Okay. Negative three. That's the normal one. Yeah. I don't know what any other ones are. The other ones are something that I mean, we never get. Once in a while, I think we've used the water. Yeah. Which means you have to file. Okay. All right. I don't know where I got that from. All right. Let's get you Okay, uh, we have, I'm having a good night, though. concluded our business. Does anybody else have anything to discuss? No. Oh, I'll make a motion to close this, this um, Conservation Commission meeting. I'll second that. All right, there is a motion uh, been made and seconded to close the, the meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? We are done. Let's make sure Rachel gets her pens back.